Oh. Oh. I didn't click it in time. Do 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 you know, I should probably go to the store and like buy some Mountain Dew Baja Blast because it's like my favorite Mountain Dew flavor. Because before Mountain, before like, um, my favorite flavor of Mountain Dew was just the original, and then Throwback came out, and it's like made with real cane sugar, and I loved that one. Um, and then when I encountered Mountain Dew Baja Blast from Taco Bell, I was like, I can't go back. This is just too good. <laughs> Not healthy for you, but it's too good. I feel like Baja Blast is the peak flavor of Mountain Dew. I've tried like a lot of different Mountain Dew flavors, but I like the original Throwback and Baja Blast. Those are like my go-to. Ah, oh, Rosetta Stone, don't remind me that I got a 50% on that writing portion from last night. Don't remind me. How dare. How dare. <laughs> anyway. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. I am still sick. <clears throat> yeah. Still sick. Uh, something tells me I won't be able to go to my uh, premium format card fight Vanguard tourney tomorrow. Because, like, I woke up. I felt... I wasn't, like, 100%. Like, 90%. Also, <laughs> Well, let me finish this story before I talk about, like, something insane. Um, so... Yeah. <clears throat> like, felt a bit weak. I took one pill of ibuprofen today. I'm off the three pi the a pill a day medication because it was only like three pills and it was one every day around like 5 p.m. because that's when I took my first one. So Thursday, Friday, and yesterday, so I'm off the medication. Now I just need to get plenty of rest, good warm food, and lots of sleep. I did take a nap today so I woke up at like 8 30 a.m. and then like I took a nap at like 10 10 30 a.m. ish so yeah I did take some time to play some Zenless Zone Zero I played some of that stuff like I did get some achievements I've gotten almost all the achievements in the game the the ones that I'm missing for the, the achievements I haven't achieved yet in Zenless Zone Zero, excluding Godfinger, because if you guys didn't know, Godfinger has achievements that's separate from the main game achievements. Um, so, in... What is it? Yeah, the achievements I'm missing, there's like four. I think there's four. So there's, there's the Hollow Zero achievements. So there's one where uh, you do... Operation Inferno Reap, and you manage to get extend the operation by a minute. So that's an achievement. I tried to get a Rizonium kit that would work uh, with my current team. Um, I can only get a little bit, like 30 seconds to 40 seconds extended. I can only extend the operation for 30 to 40 seconds. So I am a ways away from ever getting that achievement. Uh, there is another, there's a one for combat and it's called Swift Justice. This one I actually looked up on YouTube and I want to do a special shout out to this YouTuber. Um, let me see if I can find it. Swift Justice. Ah! Knack Frog, yeah, N A K F R G. Let me just do a special shout out to this dude. Uh, ignore that text. I don't know why I don't update it before unhiding it. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, N A F R G. I think that's how you spell it, right? Uh, is it? I think there's a pe there's a period in there or something. There's a period or not a period. Oh my God. There a period. There is a period, okay. Okay, there is a there is a period. I'm good, I'm good. Okay. So this is the YouTuber that I want to do a special shout out 
to its knack frog, I believe. Special shout out to knack frog in showing me how to do the achievement in Zenla Zone Zero, Swift Justice. Now, knack frog was kind enough to uh, show his lineup or their lineup <laughs> and show uh, their Ellen's. W engine and drive desk setup. So yeah, and before you ask, no, I had no encounter with Knack Frog other than online. And that and I'm, not, I'm saying that generously because I only met this person like I did with Christopher Flanagan. I think that was the other YouTuber that I did a shout out for. But Knack Frog, yeah, so Knack Frog um, had a video on YouTube on how to get the Swift Justice achievement in Zenless on Zero. Never talked to the dude. I just saw his uh, YouTube video and um, it showed me that, oh, this is an extremely hard achievement to get. <laughs> Mind you, Nagfrog is the MVP here. This person managed to do Swift Justice at Internaut level 30. I'm at Internaut level 60 and it's hard to do. <laughs> um, I will say that their Ellen was pretty good because they managed to get Ellen's W engine. I want to put it for the record that every time Zenla Zone Zero has had a banner, I only focus on the agents, and if I cannot get the W engine, I ignore it entirely. So I did not get the W engine for Ellen, Zhiyuin, Qingyi, Jane Doe, or Caesar. I'm gonna try and change it for Bernice, because <laughs> I pulled Bernice on Friday, and I'm like, okay, and I looked at my W engine uh, channel in Zenla Zone Zero, and I was like, you got 30 more pulls before you pull an S rank W engine. And I'm like, I might commit. Because I have, I'm back to where I was before, like, agent wise, where I have every single agent in Zenla Zone Zero except Soldier 11, and I want Soldier 11 so bad because during a course event, there's like an. There's a course event now. You could play as a trial version of uh, Soldier 11, and I did an all fire attribute, anom anomaly attribute team with like, what was it? Soldier 11, Coleta, and Ben Bigger, and with a. with the Cryboo. Oh my gosh! I was burning like. Corrupted Overlord Pompeii. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I love Soldier 11. Like, I enjoy Soldier 11's playstyle because it's something I'm familiar with. Because when you start the game, you only start off with three A rank agents it's Anby, Nicole, and Billy. And I like using Anby. In fact, Anby is the only agent right now that is completely maxed out in terms of agent stats, not W Engine. And B's W engine, in my account, is only ascended twice. I need to get, like, what, three more of Anby's W engine to get it to work? Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> I maxed out, um, all of Anby's passive core skills and... skills, in general. So it's like 16 out of 16. Uh, Anby Cinema Mindscape is 6 out of 6, like, whoa. <laughs> first ever agent to be maxed out in terms of just agent stats and I'm not even I'm not including the W engine or the drive discs um, because I put money into the game I get a lot more resources than others that don't so I started doing it because I don't know I just really love Zenless Zone Zero it's it has become my new gotcha game to play I love that game and it makes me sad that I just don't get the W engine for the S rank agents that have been on the banners thus far. I actually tried. I actually tried to get Zhiyu Win's W engine when Zhiyu Win came out, and I did 70 pulls on the W engine channel, and I was so disheartened because I never once got Zhiyu Win's engine. I wasted 70 pulls worth of polychrome, and because of that incident, I just decided to focus on only getting the agents in Zenla Zone Zero and ignore the W engines, but I'm planning to change that, like I said earlier. Planning to change that. Hey, Rit, welcome to the stream. Wait, wait, what? What? Huh? Oh, yeah, by the way. <coughs> oh, you're back? Hi, welcome to the stream, Rit. This, so this person here, 
This is a YouTube channel, and the YouTuber included the period. Yes, Knack Frog period. Uh, oh yeah, I was doing a special shout out. Okay. Special shout out to Knack Frog. I just want to say thank you for showing me a strategy on how to get the Swift Justice achievement. I left a comment on that video stating like, thank you for showing me this. It is clear and apparent that my team is just not ready to accomplish Swift Justice because that is an extremely hard achievement to get, at least for me, on my account. Yes? Oh, you thought you were jumping them? No, 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 no. I'm doing a special shout out. This person helped me figure out how to get swift justice because I was I'm actually like doing an achievement run like I only have the main game achievements not including Godfinger achievements in the game main game achievements rent I am missing six achievements out of all the achievements so I need a the achievement I didn't get was the extend operation inferno reap by a minute uh get all of a Rizodium package in a Hollow Zero run, uh, what was it? Increase, have all the agents, have 20 agents at trust level 4, I'm, if I, trust level 4 Bernice I'll get it. Get Bernice up to trust level 4, oh no that's 7, because then I need to do Swift Justice, which is a really hard one. <coughs> Sir, what the? Yeah, no, I was I was cranking it out, Rit. Like I have, but I got all the corruptions in Hollow Zero, which I will say it right now. I meant to make a video on it because I'm being serious. When you look up stuff online on how to get certain things in the Zenla Zone Zero, I'm going to chalk it up to Zenla Zone Zero being a new game because there are still things that the internet cannot answer. For example, corruptions. If you want to get all of the corruptions, all of the five corruptions, like the fifth corruption you get in a Hollow Zero run, you need to get five corruptions uh, in all of the zones, including qualification assessment. So I actually learned that. So there's like, it's the purple corruption or like the, the almighty corruption of the run you're doing. So... For people that want to know how to get all the corruptions in the zone zero, uh, you increase your pressure in the hollow zero run, and when your pressure reaches a hundred, it resets and you get a corruption, right? In every hollow zero run, you can only have up to five corruptions. The fifth one is always purple because it is the worst corruption you can get for that run. So if you want to get the worst corruption, uh, the purple corruptions, I'll just say that. If you want to get all the purple corruptions, you basically need to get five corruptions on every single zone and every single run. What does that mean, you may ask? Okay, so there is Old City Metro. That is a zone in Hollow Zero. And there are five difficulties. And because there are five difficulties, there are five purple corruptions you can get. And each one corresponds to a difficulty in Old City Metro. Basically, same thing goes for the old construction site and the abandoned skyscraper. And then <clears throat> for the nest, it's interesting. If you have, if you don't increase, if you do base intensity of the nest, you get hay fever one. But if you go up to like, if you increase the intensity up to eight or eight to 11, I believe, you get hay fever two. So. Just a thing out there, I'll probably make another short video on how to get it, just putting it out there, but I had to do trial and error and look through Reddit forums on the internet and wiki to figure out how to get all the corruptions. Like, that was not easy. <laughs> that was not easy because I was like, what do I do? And there are certain corruptions that you can only get in certain zones of Hollow Zero. So it's like, bro, wait, what? <laughs> And then, there is no guide on how to get the Affinity Rizoniums in Hollow Zero. Which, funnily enough, relates to your Affinity or your trust level with the agents outside of Hollow Zero. And if people are wondering if they can get the Riz Affinity Rizonium for Sokaku right now, from a Reddit forum I read about it, you cannot get Sokaku's Affinity Rizonium because Affinity Rizonium corresponds 
to your trust level with your agent. And since Sokaku does not have a trust level, you unfortunately cannot get it. I actually tried to get Sokaku's Affinity Rosonium uh, today, and I didn't get it, so I'm assuming what they said is true. Maybe someone can fact check me on that. Like Soldier 11? You can actually get Soldier 11. Wait, wait, Soldier 11 has trust level, right? Because you told me about that once before. Because if Soldier level 4, that means trusted, because there's... Because there's base trust, and then you have the first trust event, the second trust event, and then the fourth trust event, if that makes sense. She didn't have trust four. Oh, you, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't be trust four. Uh, it should be trust three. Trust level three. Because if you if you get your agent's trust level to three, you unlock their affinity rosonium. Trust level four for an agent, you get their uh, cinematic wallpaper that you can put on your pause menu or whatever. Last time you checked. Okay, but she you said that Soldier 11 has a uh, trust level 3, right? You can get her up to trust level 3 because if that's the case, then you should be able to get her affinity rosonium. Sadly, oh. Yeah, so you can't get the wallpaper. You haven't played in ages. Oh, that's fair. I'm just talking about Zone Zone 0 now because I thought why not? And do a special shout out to Nackfrog. Feel free to subscribe and like this person's videos if you want to learn more about Zenless Zone Zero shenanigans. Also, you heard Shinobu is coming to town. What do you mean Shinobu? Are you talking about Genshin? Next banner? Oh shoot! If Shinobu's wait, what? Shinobu's on the standard banner though. I looked it up. How is she? <laughs> what? So Shinobu's gonna be the bit main one on the next banner. Is the next banner Sitlali or is it Auroron? I, I haven't checked. I just know that Sitlali and Auroron are coming. And I'm like, if S Sitlali hits the banner, you know I'm dropping it. Oh, is it Chaska? Okay, Chaska's cool. Because I forgot Chaska's a thing. Okay. There's also whatever that one person, that one Genshin character from the Collective of Plenty or whatever. Like, that person has not gotten that much screen time. Because in the latest Archon Quest, we see a lot of Auroron and Sitlali, and I love Sitlali. She's so adorable. Sitlali is wife material, I tell you what. <clears throat> you don't know? Well, okay. But, yeah. I've been doing Zenla Zone Zero achievements, and I only have, like, about, like, six or seven left. Um... Because, let me think, I think so, it's about like six or seven, five or seven, I believe, and oh yeah, it's because there are four achievements in the main game that's related to the cleanup routine and Notorious Hunt. Now, there are two achievements for each, one that I'm talking about. So the first one for routine cleanup is you need to do routine cleanup 20 times and then the achievement after that is you need to do it a hundred times and it takes about 60 charge to do that and so you have to do it over time and it's the same thing for Notorious Hunt you do Notorious Hunt for a set number of times you get an achievement but if you do it a hundred times you get like the full achievement so yeah so I'm just been like knocking out uh, Zenla Zone Zero achievements I got the King of Ether achievement Basically, you need to finish a Hollow Zero run with 50 or more Rizonium. Uh And that relates to what I said earlier. I try to make a Rizonium kit package that helps me with Operation Inferno Reap. Um, it did, but in terms of dealing a lot of damage in one run. And also, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I got all the uh, achievements in Operation Inferno Reap. Like, 18 out of 18 achievements. So... I've pretty much almost maxed out Hollow Zero in terms of just completion. Like, I am 98% complete in terms of getting everything for Hollow Zero. Special areas, I got all the lost items, finished up Inferno, Operation Inferno Reap achievements, um, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. I'm like, dang. I I really am dedicated to Zenla Zone Zero because I know I just sat there and I looked at all the achievements I have achieved on the main game and I'm like, bro, my account is 
jacked right now because I'm just like knocking out achievements. I've gotten all the Mew Mew medals in every area and I know they're introducing a new area which I'm excited for um, with update 1.3. Can't wait for it to drop, because then Yanagi and Lighter, or Lightner's, no, Lighter, yeah, Lighter's story comes out. Because I looked at the update, and it was like, oh, Lighter and Yanagi's story is available now in the video archive, and I checked, and I'm like, they're freaking liars, it's not available yet. Why would it say in English, available now? And I'm like, why? <laughs> I'm excited for Yanagi, I'm sorry for Lighter. And man, it really just looks like the Sons of Caledon are just like physical fire agents, and I'm like, man, no... No, like... Other... Anomaly attributes other than that? I mean, like, the cunning hairs of like, three... <laughs> uh, oh, I shouldn't even be saying that. You know what? I just realized, cause... Oh, no, no. The public security group has three. There's physical, ether, and electric. Which is oddly the same as the Cunning Hairs. Huh. And then we have... Oh, I think Billabog Industries only has two anomaly attributes, which is electric and fire. Huh. Huh. And then we have Victoria Housekeeping, which is electric, ice, and physical. You know what I just... Oh my gosh. Oh, also... Here's something I just noticed, well, I not just noticed, that I've realized for a long time. So, after seeing all the characters in Zenless Zone Zero, fun fact, as of now, there are only, only two Aether Anomaly attribute agents. One of which is Nicole, which you get at the very beginning of the game, for free. And Jiryu Yuen, who is an S-rank agent that no one can get right now because the banner's over. <coughs> Noel and Jiryu Yuen. Yeah, there's only two. Free for real? Yeah, for real. Red, welcome to the stream. It has been a hot minute. How's everything been? Doing alright? I know it's like in the wee hours of the morning for you over there in Ireland. It's been a long time, buddy. But yeah, no, there's only two Ether agents, and I'm hoping with the advent of the Hands Association... Coming in to Zenla Zone Zero, like Yanagi, I just hope that there is more Ether agents. If if they're trying to make Ether like the anomaly attribute that is very rare and very powerful, they're doing a good job because I don't know. Is there any other agent other than Nicole that gives a debuff to an enemy? Cause so far I've only seen like the agents I've looked at, like all the agents I've looked at, they have like they have buffs they give themselves or the party. Any fire? Oh, any fire gives a debuff? This is the afterlife, Buckaroo. You are now a bomber. What are you... Red, what? No, this is... Okay. Maybe where you're at, but I'm alive, so... <laughs> Remember burn. Damage over time. No, no, okay, okay. That is damage over time. That is not a debuff, because Nicole gives a defense debuff. So, whenever Nicole hits an enemy with her enhanced basic attack, or her special attack, or extra special attack, the opponent literally gets a debuff on their shield, which is different from damage over time. So, that's what I'm wondering, I'm like, because I know, um, with, sh there's, uh, with ice attribute anomaly agents, you have Shatter, so you deal a bunch of damage, but you don't decrease their defense. Nicole's the only agent I've seen, objectively, that has the ability to lower an enemy's defense versus any other agent. Because every other agent's like, I will give my squad a boost. Or I give myself a boost. Meanwhile, Nicole and the Cunning Hairs is like, yeah, I give them a debuff. You give yourself a boost, and you give the opponent a debuff, and hit for mad scary numbers. So, yeah. But, yeah, going back to, uh, Knackfrog's Ellen. Yeah, Knackfrog had Ellen's W engine, which I'm pretty sure contributed to allowing them to get the Swift Justice achievement. Um, and yeah, I, I want to get Bernice's, uh, W engine. I'm planning to get one Bernice and one of Bernice's W engine. I am not rich enough to spend ooh, billions and billions of dollars to just m get multiples of Bernice's W engine or multiple Bernice's. Like, oh my gosh, I can't. 
I cannot. No, no, no. No, 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 no. But, yeah. Did some Zenless Zone Zero today. And then I learned that Sana from Hollow Live is back, but she's come back as, like, Nami. And apparently she's been in and out of streaming according to Kaicho for a while, so it's like, oh. So, I'm glad that Sana's back. <laughs> she's, you know, chilling. So, there's that. But yeah, I've been, I've been chilling. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was gonna say the crazy thing. So, I was watching uh, a clip of Iron Mouse and Connor interacting, and on my little mic here, which you, can you see it now? You still can't see it, no. Anyway, on my mic here, there is a pop filter that was given to me by Crimson Rose, and I don't know how to apply the pop filter, so that way it, like, works in a way that works for me, because you usually put the pop filter in front of the mic so it helps dull out the hard P and S sounds. Is that the girl with the dongo hair? Who? Who was who has the dongo hair? Who was I talking about that has dongo hair? It's not Nicole. Never mind. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. The virtual teaber. Yes, that is the dongo hair girl. I was like, what was I talking about? Was I talking about Zenless on Zero or was I talking about Hololive? By the way, I did see that uh Callie from Hololive, English. Gen 1 Hollow Myth. She started opening the Hollow Live card game, which my wallet is crying for because I'm I know I'm gonna get into it. It's just it's just a good card. <laughs> Hollow Live is become is conquering the world legitimately. I love card games and I love Hollow Live. Why would you put them together? Hollow Live was in Weiss Schwartz. Why would you make another card game for it? It's like with One Piece. One Piece, I love One Piece. And then they made the card game and I'm like, well, it's over. <laughs> It's over. It's over for me. It's over, bro. Anyway, on the clip I saw with Connor and Iron Mouse, I learned the a way to make the pop filter work with your mic, and it is literally like what Connor's setup has. The pop, the pop filter was just lying on the mic, and the mic was holding it steady. So I finally did it. Because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. So let me try it. Do you hear that? This is the pop filter on it. Psst. Psst. Is this good? Hey, Simo. Stop, you're gonna bust. Oh, okay. Bust, 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 bust. Bust, 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 bust. Special thanks again to Crimson Rose for getting me this awesome, amazing mic and pop filter. Uh, and apologies to Crimson Rose because the alt light that uh, he gave me, yeah, no, that died. I threw that away. Like, it just doesn't work. <laughs> However, Sabby's ring light is working. I, that's what they're called. Ring light. The, the light over there. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd talk about my day for a little bit and then we'll get into it. So... We're going to be learning languages, and then, again, like yesterday, uh, we will be doing Genshin Impact, followed by Action Time, and then, and then finally, ending off the stream on a light note with The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, because I really like the game. So, yeah, I need to pee. I'll be back. I need to pee. Enjoy hearing Amelia Watson's voice in the background. Or should I say Doobie? Get doxxed. <laughs> Uh, like, subscribe, and comment on this person's videos. They're, they're, they're amazing. They help me figure out how to do Swift Justice uh, in Zenless Zone Zero. Support, please. Thank you. I'm sure some are standing on standby. Okay, what if I use my blessings? Maybe that'll be good. I should remove this. What, why do I have a uh, poison? Roll 
people into the fire? Does that work? Okay. directly underneath him. Even if I was taking the fire damage, I guess if I can predict when it's gonna happen, then I can just run. Let me stay under your butt at all times, that'd be great. I think this, like, under the tail is the best place to be, <laughs> besides that. I rolled! Oh, it's time. to hit that fire thing the f okay the one that looks like a, a big beam dodge to this but it's, it has a wide hello i'm back area. did you guys subscribe and support knack frog <laughs> <laughs> i came back to the clip thanks for it <laughs> g-force bus <gasps> put that as a thumbnail put it as a thumbnail be a heg out face Anyway, okay. All right, all right, okay. Enough. I shall now hide Neckfrog's YouTube username. Okay. <laughs>